Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about a better way of building a site collection navigation, navigation between site collections. My previous demo, I showed you how to do this little mega menu example here. It works well up to maybe a couple of hundred departments or, or sub-sites or site collections or whatever. After that it becomes tricky and what I would recommend using instead, even if you're just a very small company, is using search. People are used to using search. They have learned how to figure that out. They know what search verticals are, even if they don't know the word, they know how to use them. So instead of doing this whole drop down with different links here, I'm going to remove that entire link with all the sub-links and instead I'm going to push people into going into search instead. Of course the search is also available there so whichever way you get there you get to the search center and in here I'm going to create a new page just showing sites, sites results. I'm going to edit the web part of course. I'm going to just show the sites or rather the site collections and those are in the content class equals and then you have to type in the value sts site that gets you the site collections so if i test that query you'll notice that i get the it i get the hq i get some other sites here the community sites if you want to remove those i would do like this it doesn't contain and then I'll take this part, for example, the Kalmstrom demo my. I don't want the my sites to be available there. I'm going to add those. And not the content class in this case, but the path. Let's test that. And you see the Antonio site is no longer there. I'm also going to do the same with the portals there. I don't want the portals at all. So let's take that bit. Test that. And that took away my portals and I don't want the content type hub to be there either so let's remove that one too. All right I'm adding the property filter for that also and there I have only the IT and the HQ sites which are my site collections that's fine and then I'll apply this and publish the page and there you see only site collections if I go to everything here now search for IT I do get the IT site first actually so it's not difficult to find it but I want to have a search vertical there that only shows me the site collection so I want to have another search vertical there and I do that of course by using the page I already created and adding that to the search navigation or the search verticals so I'm going to add a link there and that's going to point to my page the sites results that I created just a few minutes ago. Sites. I can make that even more visible by moving it up. So I'll do the news that I created earlier too. There we go. So let's go back to the my search center here and I'll search for IT. And if I click on sites there, I'll only find the IT site. Alright. So that concludes my demonstration on how to build a sites search vertical and how to build a better navigation in general. I would recommend that you ask people to go to the whatever site and then click on search, find the, the other sites. So the general navigation in each and every, every team site is this is where you are right now and this is where you go to find more information. So that's my recommendation. Thank you for watching this demonstration.